Good morning! Welcome to another episode of Abs with Ash. Okay, this is the second episode of the short series. So today's episode, I thought I would bring you along throughout my day and show you what I eat for abs. Starting off with a big cup of black coffee. Oh, I used to drink it with like half and half and sugar, okay? But I weaned myself off of the sugar first because table sugar is a big no-no, especially first thing in the morning. <laughs> it could really mess your immune system up, get you sick, kill off your white blood cells. I can go on and on. So table sugar is a big no-no. Then I just took out half and half altogether and I adapted real quick black coffee. And of course in my rainbow mug because it makes me happy. If you are not already, please do consider subscribing because I do make new videos every single week. Okay, see you in a bit. It's coffee time. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do before anything is fill up my giant water bottle right here for the day, okay? I try to drink a gallon of water a day. It's kind of like my challenge that I like to do for myself, but sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't, you know, just the effort's there. Because if you stay hydrated, um, your body is less likely to hold on to water, okay? So less water retention, more muscle definition, that's how you want to keep it, baby. Love my coffee, but nothing wakes me up more than some cold water. I just want to give you guys a brief outline of what my diet looks like. I use that term very lightly because it's not like a diet. It's not a, a fad or something I just do temporarily. It's part of my lifestyle. So this is just what I eat. <laughs> I focus on high protein, okay? You lift weights five days a week. High proteins where it's at, okay, or else it's all for nothing. <laughs> high natural fats, okay, because it actually helps your body to burn fat as long as your carb intake is low. Really stay away from simple carbs more than anything, okay? Complex carbs is where it's at. That is what your body is able to burn, especially during workouts, okay? It doesn't just store as straight fat, you know what I mean? Turning into glycogen and just storing as fat on your body. So, my diet is high protein and high natural fats, followed by lower complex carbs. Okay, you will see. So, because I am lifting heavy today, today's my heavy leg day, so I am gonna slightly carb load before this workout. So what I'm looking at is I'm going to be eating, this is from, it's just a Walmart brand, organic bread. I already looked into it, nothing bad about this bread. It is thin sliced, which I like, okay? Heavy bread fills me up and makes me feel bloated. This is thin sliced, so it's it takes it easy on my gut. And I know what you're thinking, this isn't a um, complex carb, and I am well aware of that, but here's the thing. I need it to absorb like the egg. If I eat just egg on an empty stomach like that, it, I don't feel well. Then over here, I'm gonna make a small bowl of protein oats. Okay, love this brand from TJ Maxx, I got it. Red Tractor Foods Natural Instant Protein Oats. So the protein's already mixed in it um, in, with almond and flax. Um, I like to add some coconut in here, a banana. If I had strawberries, it would go in here too. And my favorite soy milk with eight grams of protein, okay? It is so creamy and so delicious, so I'm gonna warm it up in this bowl, add the protein oats in it and all the goodies here, and it's so freaking delicious. You don't even need to add sugar, it's amazing. You guys are gonna see that I don't count calories, okay? The only thing I really kind of mentally calculate during the day is my protein intake, just to make sure I'm getting enough for what I'm doing at the gym. So, some days I'm eating a little bit more complex carbs than others depending on how I'm working out for the day. And also, here's the key, depending on how my body feels. If there's anything in the world that I can seriously suggest to doing, it's to just listen up to your body, okay? That's my guide, okay? It's not about following a strict caloric intake. And for some people that works and that's awesome. But for me, being too strict has very negative effects, okay, on my mental state and just on my body in general. So, how my body feels day to day, because it can vary and it will, is what I give to my body, okay? I don't ignore it. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Just going to top off the eggs with some pink Himalayan salt and some pepper. All together, this dish is looking at about almost 40 grams of protein. The protein oats are about eight grams. The almond milk is another eight grams. About three eggs, so 18 grams of protein couple grams in the bread, chia seeds, another couple grams. So yeah, altogether about 40 grams of protein right here. That's the way you want to start your day. So these are really the only vitamins I take, a women's multivitamin. I take a fish oil to help with your joints. Collagen, okay, anti-aging, hair, skin, and nails, plus vitamin C, and my precious CLA. Okay, I got coffee grinds. It helps to reduce water weights, and it works like a charm. I know for a fact I will not not take this. This is amazing. I take two in the morning and two at night. All right, guys, it's finally time to pump some iron. First things first, I gotta have my amino and energy from Women's Best. So this is not a pre-workout. It's just a nice little light energy supplement, lots of vitamins. It's got amino in it, so it's great for muscle repair. Uh, you could take one to three scoops. Three scoops would be like a pre-workout, but I just like to take one. That's all I need. Iced tea lemon is the bomb. Out of all their flavors, Iced tea lemon is legit. It tastes just like regular iced tea lemonade, baby. I'm still full from breakfast, just saying, but nevertheless, your girl always gets hungry right when she parks and when her stomach starts to growl. So what I've been eating before the gym, a banana, high in potassium and really good. It helps to prevent cramping, okay? I only eat very few of these because it's lightly salted, but it's still salt. You know what I'm saying? It's still gonna bloat you out a little bit. Very little if I'm really hungry, okay? The natural fats, really, if you need something to hold you over during a workout without making you feel like you just ate a ton of bricks, high fats like peanut butter, natural peanut butter, almonds are great, and my new prize possession. I love these Power Crunch bars. Lots of different flavors, but peanut butter cream is my favorite. It tastes like a wafer it's a wafer okay so if you like that light it's very light and airy so it's not too heavy in your gut 13 grams of protein gym shark uh, uh, abs with ash uh, <laughs> okay guys Woo! that was an awesome workout my body hurts my lower body specifically so i need some proats need that the oikos triple zero greek yogurt is the bomb diggity for that okay hold you over high protein 15 grams zero added sugar zero artificial sweeteners and zero percent fat hence triple zero so i'm gonna eat this I had my protein bar before that you saw so i am going to be at 68 grams of protein. Yeah. You're probably wondering, well, how much protein do you intake a day? I shoot for my body weight in grams. Um, that's usually that's usually what you shoot for when you're lifting heavy weights. I weigh 120 pounds, so I need about 120 grams of protein. Okay, so for lunch, we got albacore wild tuna from the brand Wild Planet. You might have seen this in my grocery haul. I eat this whole can. There's about no salt added, by the way, okay? Like I said before, very low sodium. 21 grams of protein in this baby. Amazing. Super duper clean. 100% pure tuna. And nothing else. I cannot eat this plain, and I will not eat this plain. <laughs> Your girl likes her mayo. This mayo, organic from Tresemme's. <laughs> Sounds like Tresemme. Tresemme's. Ooh la la. 
Nothing wrong with mayo in moderation. Just don't go crazy with it. This is organic, so they don't have any weird oils in it. So it's a good source of natural fats, okay? I'm going to eat it either on top of, or maybe have this on the side. Need your greens, baby spinach is the best. Nice and hearty greens with some olive oil, okay? With maybe a little bit of pink Himalayan salts, just a tad. And some cherry tomatoes for extra flavoring. Gonna dice up an onion for some tuna flavor. Alrighty, here we go. I made it extra pretty looking just because, you know. I am not going to be eating carbs with this lunch because for the most part, I do keep it lower carbs, okay? But I don't feel like I need it. I'm already done with my workout. I like to carb up before my workout and kind of like lower the carb intake afterwards. And I am gonna eat a little tiny bit of complex carbs with my dinner. So skipping uh, carbs with the lunch, no problemo. Got a lot of healthy natural fats going on here. Anyway, kind of making up for that. So when there's a lot of colors on your plate, that's how you know that you've done something right. After my tuna salad on salad, <laughs> I am at 89 grams of protein. So I'm gonna wait a little while, chill, get some editing done. Once I get hungry for dinner, pick it up from there, baby. Alrighty guys, it is that time. It's time to start cooking din dins. So for dinner, we are going to be having salmon. Okay, your girl loves salmon. High protein, high natural fat. So I know what you guys are thinking, okay. She's eating salmon, she had tuna. What's the deal? Do I only eat seafood as my main source of protein? The answer is yeah. <laughs> chicken is another thing that I eat. Lean grilled chicken breast. Um, we actually grind it up into tiny bits and we could throw it into like a pasta sauce to get your protein in because I'm gonna be honest, chicken is so nasty. It's disgusting, it's horrible to eat, it makes me wanna vomit. So I try to limit my chicken intake, okay? Even though it's like one of the best lean proteins that you can put into your body. If I wasn't eating salmon today, and I wasn't eating chicken, I'd probably eat a shrimp with brown rice type of dish. So my main protein sources are usually just consistent, okay? I usually eat the same types of protein, um, but I divvy it up from day to day with different seasonings, sauteed in different things, different flavors going on, and kind of prepare them differently from day to day, just so I don't get bored of the same old thing. Um, so seasonings, healthy seasonings are a go-to, okay? Don't feel like eating healthy, you know, you just have to eat plain, disgusting, no. You gotta spice up your life a little bit. You do. All right guys, so this is what we're looking at. Had to make it look really nice for you guys. If this wasn't us filming, it'd be all over the place, I swear. Here we go, I just wanna quickly show you guys a really nice guide to use when figuring out your portion size of a meal when it comes to carbs, veggies, and protein. So it's what I like to do, it's really helpful. Just take your hand and this is your protein right here, the amount that you should be consuming right here on the vegetables, about two hands worth, okay? So like right here, good. I got plenty of vegetables. And then carbs, you just make a fist, all right? And I think I did it, right? That's about right for carbs. Clearly you want a lot of veggies, a good amount of protein, and lower carbs. Complex carbs, these are the red lentil pennies. Um, this is just regular salmon. I really like the taste of salmon, but if you don't, if you need to flavor it up, these hot sauces are really great. Green sauce, James loves these. And regular sriracha, very healthy. Nothing wrong with putting a little bit of this on. And then we have sauteed green beans with garlic. Um, these are sauteed in uh, a little bit of olive oil, okay? So we have a very high natural fat, low carbs, a lot of greens and proteins. Okay, so if you know me from Instagram, you know I like flood my stories with this, but this red lentil penne is so amazing. Uh, it comes in rotini, regular penne noodles, uh, super, super, super high in protein, and plant-based protein, obviously, and um, there's like nothing bad about it, it's just red lentils. We are looking at this salmon, is about 20 grams of protein in itself, and the penne lentils pasta 
super high in protein, approximately 13 grams for a serving. So all together, okay, I was at 89 before, plus 13, plus 20, I'm at 122 grams of protein, which is absolutely awesome. So it's past my body weight. I already reached my limit. Whoa! Some days I struggle with protein. Sometimes I'm just simply not hungry, you know? Like my body just can't stomach eating more food. So if that's the case, I will always use my supplements. Um, a protein shake from Women's Best. The Fit Whey Protein in mint chocolate is so delicious. I might even have this if I have like a really bad sweet tooth, okay? Because I try to stay away from sugar. As you can see, I barely had any sugar today. <laughs> so I will drink this and I mix it with that same silk protein um, almond milk that you saw, the soy milk. It tastes just like melted mint chocolate ice cream. So I swear by this stuff. It's got 20 grams of protein in each serving. So really good supplement if I need it. But I usually try to consume protein via food. Little snacks here and there. This is how I like to store my vegetables, okay? We got cucumbers, carrots, and celery. Keep it all in a container, all cut up, and convenient. When I go to the grocery store and buy these items, before they even enter the fridge, I pre-cut them up because you're more likely to eat them that way, okay? When it's, you know, on hand, very convenient, you could throw them in a Ziploc, bring it with you for lunch, whatever you gotta do. When you just keep it, you know, straight from the grocery store into your fridge, it just sits there, okay? You won't feel like doing it later on <laughs> and then you won't eat it and then you end up throwing it out. So, so I really love that as like a little snack. I like to dip the carrots and the celery in this all natural Schmucker's peanut butter in chunky, okay? It's low sodium, really nothing but peanuts in here. So really nice source of natural fat, protein, All right guys, so you did not think the vlog was over just yet, okay? As if there wasn't enough food in one day, all right? Your girl, there's nothing she loves more than eating popcorn and watching a movie before bed. That is my time to relax. That's all I do, that's all I do with my life. I don't go out, I don't go drinking or, yeah, by the way, we don't drink alcohol. <laughs> in yeah, case you guys were, that. In case you guys were wondering, we don't drink alcohol. Um, I don't miss it, I straight up don't miss it, all right? My body can't hang with alcohol no more. It's time for popcorn, healthy popcorn that literally tastes like movie theater popcorn, but better, okay? Not not the movie theater popcorn that makes your lips just like blow up like a balloon, all right? Because that's ultra sodium and it's bad for you. And they use artificial coloring and it's just disgusting. We're binge watching Harry Potter at the moment, okay? This is our nightly routine right now, fall time, and we've been calling it Harry Poppies. It's Harry Poppies time. Here's the kernels. Okay, got a nice glass jar because we go through it a lot. I must eat this every single night. Nothing wrong with popcorn, by the way. If done right, it's really high in fiber, okay? Really cleans you out. <laughs> TMI? Probably. A little bit. Yeah. This Too much and the popcorn gets soggy. Yeah. You want that little crisp, ready? Like the so. heck yeah. Oh, did you do it? No, ready? <laughs> One, two. There we go, that's nice. the good stuff. See look, you just want it to coat. Coat the bottom. Just to coat. Mm -hmm. One small little yeah. layer yep. that coats the bottom. We can actually do a little bit more. A little more. Dude, this stove is gross, man. Why don't you ever clean it? And now watch, y'all, ready for this? <laughs> Yeah, just move it around and coat. You want to coat all the kernels. Oh, thank you. Grabbing our pink Himalayan salt and just lightly sprinkling it. One, over. two, three, That's four, it. five. Light That's salt. It. Now, the reason why we put it first and not afterwards on the popcorn, you want to pop it into the popcorn, okay? You want to bite into that popcorn and you taste the little light salt. You don't want to get it all over y'all fangos. You know what I'm saying? Nobody likes that salty finger. Look at the stuff. Oh my god, I hope my mom's not watching. And I hope your mom's not watching this. Tom, come help us clean it. <laughs> okay, guys. It is the end of the vlog. We're about to, well, I'm about to devour this popcorn. <laughs> and we're about to watch some Harry Potter, okay? It's Harry Poppy's time. Harry Poppy! <laughs> so, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is basically, in a nutshell, what I eat for abs and in general. 
Comment down below if you have any questions at all or if I didn't touch base on something that you're wondering about. Again, if you are not already, please do subscribe because more Abs with Ash episodes to come, okay? We're, we're hitting the gym. We're gonna be hitting the gym. We're gonna be targeting all aspects of abs, everything. Love handles, you name it, girlfriend, okay? You have an ab issue, your girl is here, okay? Together, we got this, baby. Don't forget that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.